Hello everyone, so in this video we will learn how to save Facebook page post to Google Sheets in real time. So the idea is that if I create a new post in Facebook, the data of that particular post will be added into Google Sheets automatically. But the issue here is there is no direct connection between Facebook and Google Sheets. So that is why I will be using an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Facebook and Google Sheets. The best part here is a person without any technical background can perform this integration easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with a real time example. Ok so this is my Facebook account and this is my Google Sheet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create an awesome post in Facebook and see whether the details of this particular post arrives in Google Sheets automatically or not. So we have this particular page that is Anytech Solution and this is the post I'm trying to create. Earth is a unique planet because I live here. It has lithosphere, biosphere and hydrosphere. And we have the image of Earth. Okay. So let me just straight away click on post. So my post is getting published. Okay. So let's have a look. Yes. The post has been published. So let's have a look. Do we have the details of this particular post in Google Sheet? Okay. So let me just refresh my Google Sheet. Okay. So as you can see, we have the page name. Okay. So this was the page name as you can see in text solution. And then we have the post message, Earth is a unique planet and the lithosphere, biosphere and hydrosphere. Then we have the image URL. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, copy this image URL. Okay. Let me just copy this image URL. So after copying this, I'm just going to open this in a new tab. Okay. Just to show you that this is basically the same image that we had uploaded on the post. Okay. Then we have the post URL. So this is the post URL. I'm just going to copy this and open this in a new tab. So we'll understand that we have the same post. Okay. Yeah, we do have the same post. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Facebook to Google Sheet? So basically here we have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that has integrated Facebook page and Google Sheet. So there is something else I have to tell you. Now, while it looks like the data from Facebook page automatically arrived in Google Sheets, in a very few seconds but the truth is actually I had to wait for 5-6 minutes before the data arrived. So I actually had to pause this video for 5-6 minutes. So my point is uh, Facebook actually takes an appreciable amount of time to send the data. So just do not panic when you create the workflow. The data will eventually come in 5 or 6 minutes. You just have to wait. Okay so in the new tab just type pabli.com p-a-b-b-l-y.com pabli.com press enter. So this is the website of pabli.com. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here you can build your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already built an account. So let me just straight away click on sign in. Okay, so this is the app section of Pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. At the top right corner, you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Facebook to Google Sheets. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. It's totally on you. Facebook to Google Sheets. And let me just straight away click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. Now in the trigger window, we are going to select the app as Facebook. Okay, so here we have choices, Facebook leaders, Facebook comments, Facebook group and Facebook pages. We are going with Facebook pages. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new post. Simply just click on connect. We are going with the new connection. Just click on connect with Facebook pages. Okay, so Pavli Connect is now trying to connect with Facebook pages. Yes, and the connection has been made. Now by default, the page it is showing as technical boy. So these are all the pages that I have in my Facebook account. Now let me just show you all the pages. Okay, so let me just go to uh, Facebook profile and pages. So all the pages that is present here is being reflected here. Okay. So these are all the pages that is present here is now shown here. This is because Facebook is now integrated with Pabli Connect. Now I'm interested in this particular page. Okay. Any tech solution. I have selected it. And what I'm going to do here is I will also make sure that this page that is any tech solution is also selected here. So any tech solution. Let me just search it manually. Okay. Any tech solution. Okay. So at this point, when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch me the data of the recently uploaded post or recently published post in this particular page. In our case, the recently published post was on uh, earth, earth something. Okay. So this was the post. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new post. 
so this will be on let's say rolex okay so this will be on rolex so the post is rolex watch is awesome okay rolex watch is awesome so let me just uh, show you the message as well as the post okay and straight away let me just click on publish so our post is getting published excellent so the post has been published so now as i mentioned when i click on save and send test request it will fetch me the data of the recently created post in my case the recently created post now is rolex so let me just click on save and send test request to show that we have the details of rolex so let us have a look yes so the message is rolex watch is awesome okay and then we have uh, the rest of the details so let me show you the other details okay so we are going with the image first okay so the image where is the image url so first let me just yes so this is the image url the full picture okay i'm just going to scroll down and i'm just going to copy this image url to check or how about we open this in an incognito mode okay open this in incognito mode and press enter yeah this is the same image that we had uploaded on that particular post after that we have uh, the post url so let's have a look do we have the post url so this is the post url okay so let's explore that also i'm just going to copy this and open this in a new tab especially in the incognito mode okay so this is the post okay rolex watch is awesome so we have got all the details now what we're going to do here is we are going to create a row in google sheet so now in the action event how about we make the app as google sheets google sheets it is now in the action event how about make it as add new row and simply just click on connect we are going with the new connection just click on connect with google sheets okay so these are the series of accounts i have okay so now what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to help you to understand the process from scratch okay so i'm just going to first create a new google sheet i'm sorry it should have been google sheets okay go to google sheets okay let me just copy the columns okay okay so we are going to start from scratch and i'm going to name this uh, google sheet as uh, facebook data earlier it was uh, data from facebook this time i'm going with facebook data and uh, i'm just going to uh, paste the column addresses so we have page name page post message image url and the post url so you must be thinking why we have kept the action event as add new row so the answer is very simple the reason we have kept the action event as add new row is because we are going to insert data into adjacent cell one by one so once all this data is entered it will create a new row okay so if you don't understand it's totally fine let me just straight away click on connect with google sheet and this newly created google sheet that is facebook data is present in this account so i'm selecting this account okay so now it wants access to my account so let me just straight away click on continue authorization successful excellent okay so by default it is already showing the select sheet as facebook data so this is the sheet facebook data and the sheet as sheet one this is the sheet that is sheet one okay so now let's start mapping so we have the page name if you don't remember the page name it was any tech solution this was the page name any tech solution so where is the page name okay any tech solution so we are going to map this particular detail here we click here we click here and this is the page name any tech solution and we have mapped it then we have the post message we click here and the post message was rolex is awesome yes and we have mapped it then we have the image url we click here and if you may remember i have also shown you the image url by opening it in cognitive mode so this is the image url then we want the post url so the post url is this one and we have mapped it so at this point all you have to do is just click on save and send us request to send this data to uh, this google sheet yes we have the page name we have the post message we have the image url we have the post url so the presence of this data confirms that we have a successful integration between facebook page as well as google sheet so essentially this means that anytime from today onwards if someone or if you create a post on your facebook page that details of the post will be automatically entered into google sheet because of this workflow so before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so let me just minimize this action window and let me just minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated facebook page to public connect and then you integrated public connect to google sheets
So now there's a perfect flow of data between Facebook page and Google Sheets. Excellent. So not just these two apps, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, please contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Also, the link of Pabli Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.